हे माई नेम इज हैप्पी आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन इन एनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट थिंग इज वट आर राउट आउट एंड रेफ पैरामीटर्स द आंसर इज बाई यूजिंग रेफ एंड आउट की वर्ड्स वी कैन पास पैरामीटर बाय रेफरेंस and or we can say when you want to return more than one values from a method then you can use out and ref parameters so first is the definition and second is the use of the out and ref parameters so let's see what is the definition what is the parameters by reference let's try to understand this first here you can see we have a class without ref out which is not using ref and out parameters but just simple parameters in update method when from the main method you will create the object of this without ref out class uh, object and then will call this update method with normal parameters a and b then this parameters are passed by value remember pass by value not by reference meaning the parameters here have a have a different address in memory and the parameters which will receive the value which are c and d have a different address so this a which is passed and this c which which is receiving the value have different address in the memory so they are not related their value is same but their address is different so this is without ref and out now let's see what is with ref and out so this is the code example here we are using the class is with ref and out and we are using out and ref in the parameters so when the object is created this q is the object created right and we are passing this out parameter and this ref parameter then the address of this variable a and the address of this variable c will remain same because they are out parameters and same goes with the ref parameters also so the address of variable b and the address of variable d will be same because these are ref parameters so this is the reference when we say passing the parameters by reference so this is the meaning so they maintain the relation now let's come to the main question what is the difference between out and ref parameters so let's see one by one first difference is in case of out parameters so this a if you can see here it is a out parameter so the first difference is no need to initialize out parameter before passing it so we are not setting any value for the out parameter it is not necessary you can set but you can leave it uh, you can just declare it also so no need so this is about the ref parameter but 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 you must initialize ref parameter otherwise you will see an error so if you will just declare this b uh, integer which is passed like ref parameter if you will just declare it then it will throw an a compile error so you must set some value for this b so this is the first difference the second difference is out parameter must be initialized before returning so okay we will receive this out parameter in the c variable and then we have to initialize it to c uh, i mean we have to set some value for this c value because it's a out parameter but in case of this ref parameter if even we we will not initialize any value in it still there is no problem and it will return properly but if you will not initialize c which is a out parameter then it will throw an error so this is the second difference in short you we can say that out parameter is to assign a new value and ref parameter is to modify a value modify an existing value so this is the use of this out and par ref parameter let me show you the same thing in the visual studio code also so this is the console application 
and you can see the same example here we have this with ref out class here and we are creating the object of it and then we are calling this update method now this a variable is the out parameter and we have not assigned any value of it and that is completely okay if you can assign that is also okay but if you will not assign that is also okay but in case of ref parameter it must be assigned or i can say it must be initialized if i will not assign it this ref any value then it will throw an error compile time error which will be like use of unassigned local variable b so that is mandatory okay for ref parameter to assign a value before passing it to the method the second thing was while returning if you will not initialize the out parameter then it will throw an er error so let me show you if i will do like this if i will not assign any value to this out parameter c then it will throw an er error the out parameter c must be assigned to before control leaves the current method so this is the second difference and here you can see we have not assigned any value for the ref parameter but if you want to do that is okay you can do it there is no problem but even if you don't assign it even then it is no problem so this is the answer of this question the differences and the definition of the reference i hope you liked it and uh, if you have any questions about this question then uh, please let me know about your query in the comment section and I